we are off to Midagong to go suss out in the band and brewery. What is it, the malting brewery? Yeah, Sydney. Is it Midagong malting, something like that. Uh, brewery back in the day. It's been abandoned for about 30 years. Hopefully it's still abandoned. I did go down there. Um, it's been a while. I think it was about two weeks ago. It looked like there was construction vehicles in there. Um, but hopefully they're not there or I don't know what they're doing in there. Maybe just cleaning up some stuff around the outside. I don't know because it's still not, pretty abandoned to me. We'll just go suss it out anyway. Screw not, them. There's, a, there's a couple of places around that we can check out and uh, see how they look. Um, but it'd be pretty cool if we could get into this abandoned, um, abandoned place and check it out and get some cool stuff in there. Righto, so we just stopped off for fuel. I was hoping to show you where Middlegong Brewery is, but Sean lives in the middle of butt fuck nowhere and the reception's kind of shit. So it may take a while. Not far from Tarmore actually, which is where we're going from. So once Sean gets back, we can uh, rock and roll. Oh, she started. First you, go. You know what that means. It means we're in. Means we're not gonna start on the way back home. Mm -hmm. It could be. And we are going somewhere abandoned in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. That could be interesting. <laughs> it's probably about 25 minutes away. Maybe half hour, I don't know. Apparently people walk their dogs through it and stuff. So yeah. hopefully we can still get in there. I don't know how long ago those, you know, those were written up on, on, on the website. Um, but yeah. Man, well, it's going to be a big letdown if we can't get in there. I'm we're ready on, for it. it we went on the top together. five places to visit in Sydney for abandoned places. Yeah, we are coming up to the street. This is the street now. Uh, yeah, kid there, residential. Yeah, look, just houses, both sides, and it's sort of just on this bend. Um, so we'll do a drive past and see what's going on there first, and then see where we can pull up to get out to walk down there. Just here. Is there anyone in there? Oh, yeah. Whoa, we've got some builders. Do not enter. Don't enter. Fuck Construction man. site. See, that's what I mean. But it's just Jim's mowing. <laughs> it looks cool, but there are people in there, man. God damn it. So, change of plans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, that's one. That's, oh, that's the big truck. That's just Jim's mowing. I'm sure he won't give a fuck. That's right. Let's go. Let's go put our. Let's go put our bags on. Get out and we'll go. So wait. Um, do you have a high vis in here? Yeah. Oh, so we just chuck our high vises on. With a high vis, you can get anywhere in Australia. All right. So right now we're uh, walking past the gate. Where <laughs> I'm sort of not scared, but like I suppose we're not supposed to be in here because that sign. But um. I guess we're just gonna go see if there's someone around and we can ask them if we can check it out, I guess. So, well, we're getting closer. Still can't see anyone. Um, the fish eye isn't the best for a long shot, but we can hopefully see what we're trying to work with. And then what are they doing with it? This place has been abandoned for over 30 years. And now that we wanna check it out, there's people working, there's a new fence up and stuff. So maybe we're going to ask this dude in the ute um, if we can check it out or whatever. We we're, were just about to walk out and we've seen a ute coming in and we're like, all right, we'll, we'll ask these guys and see um, you know, if they work here, if we can check it out. And uh, they're doing the same thing. There's four of them, four of them yeah, in there. Yeah, four of them. A couple of photographers and a videographer and they're well, just coming to get some cool photos. So uh, they've come all the way down from Sydney, which is about two and a half hours or something yeah. um, to check it out. So hopefully that we can get in for their sake and for our sake and get it all done. Now the six of us, so stronger stronger in numbers. Was it strength in numbers? Yeah. Strength in numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Strength and, strength and confidence in numbers. There's a lot of danger in there and our insurance don't cover it. Yeah. So there's, since we've cleared it all, there's a lot of potholes and stuff around. Uh, we lost a few machinery in the holes. Far out. So, well, yeah, so unfortunately um no one's allowed on if we let one on yeah. we let everybody in yeah so look, you can at the gate take some photos yeah. but yeah. getting inside the building now uh, okay uh, and all the access has been cut off because it's all the better graffiti and the art is all up the top yeah right and now all the uh, all the steps and all the access has been taken out okay that's fair. Uh, you would have got in there three months ago that's you would have been yeah. all right it's beautiful <laughs> the fence, yeah. but 
a lot of people aren't as considerate as you guys when they cut the fence. And oh, it's, it'll, it'll happen. Last week, someone drove through the fence. There's a horse, eh? Hey? And rammed it down, yeah, so we've so that's fixed That's da damage of the car, though. That's, that's a waste. Yeah. The security guys come down here at night time. Mm, yeah. Because it's so to. dangerous now. Now there's no access, no ladders, just nothing. People, people are still trying to get up though, eh? Like if they get in, they'll still try to get up. And oh, they're trying to get up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's crazy. I don't know. Yeah. It's crazy, you know. Who's the street here? Up? And there was a guy asleep. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I found a guy in that. Um, asleep in there. Uh, yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he, he's. Oh, I think he was off yeah, his chops, yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah, I just opened up the door and he was in. Oh, fuck <laughs> shit, yeah. Uh, sorry. No, That's alright, no worries. Sorry about Mind that. if we just get a couple of photos from here, I suppose? Just from where we are? Oh, uh, yeah, just go up there, because we've got the owners down the back. Yep. So it'll, it'll okay. go mental. Okay. If you're on your way out, just take some photos. Alright. So, alright. No worries. It's owned by a private place and they're going to be doing something here. Um, so we can't actually get in. Uh, we thought we'd do the nice thing, or the respectable thing, and ask for permission to have a look around. Yeah, nah, not allowed, so uh, we're going to move on to plan B, I guess. It's, it's annoying, but it's been abandoned for 30 years, and <laughs> they've only started work about two months ago. Absolutely so crazy. That's half our luck, but uh, yeah, I guess we checked it out. It was a fail, but uh, let's uh, move on to the next thing. I'm not sure if my yogurt tastes like shit because it's been out of the fridge too long, or my finger tastes like shit. Just put you put your finger up the ass. <laughs> That's probably shit then. <laughs> All right, guys, but well, failed. Um, as you can see, we got booted. So now we're was it Mount Gibraltar, mm. whatever that says, Mount Gibraltar, Gibraltar, whatever. So we're at the Mitigon Lookout. Someone was up here having a good time over with this. Going for some brews and some yogurt. Yeah, this would be like the perfect place to end it. Wouldn't you think? Look at it. For fuck's sake, I told you we shouldn't smash them. <laughs> he's had too many. Anyway, this is the view. Alright, this is round three of trying to find cool places to check out. Oh god. We are in, uh, I think it's Hilltop. Hilltop, something like that. There's a an old train line that runs underneath a bridge. So we're uh, just doing the bushwalk at the moment to get down there. Bryce is in front of me. It's fairly deep. It's a, it's a long way down there. When we're down there, hopefully it's lit up a bit, but um, we're on a, a big freaking cliff at the moment. I don't really want to look back at the camera because I'm focusing. But um, no. <laughs> that's, that's a long drop and it goes all the way down there. And now we're getting into the final bit. Bryce is already out there. Uh, just under here. And... Whoa, it's cold down here, man. Yeah, hey. It's cold. Like, as soon as you get into this gully, it's like cold as, but it's sick. You can see the train line goes, obviously it goes down there where the trains would have initially run. For us to get a photo for the gram, I guess, or Snapchat or whatever. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Bryce, what do you think? Initial thoughts? Um, it's cold. It is cold, man. And, um, uh... A lot of tracks, no lot of train. <laughs> the train station is just on the other side of the bridge. Is that what you're talking about? Jesus, that scared me. But it was just the lens cap fell out of my pocket. But this is cool. Look how high up this goes. And we're just walking on the train lines. I wonder if we're going to find anything cool down here. Just some rocks that have recently fell. So it's good to know that this is uh, very stable. And we're very safe down here, so that's good to know. It sort of just, yeah, it just goes through under the bridge, obviously. And then we'll come up the other side. And then we shall go check out some trains. Go. Free cola! <laughs> and this is just a quick view of the bridge in which we were walking under. I don't know if you can see down there, but pretty far down. And now let's go look at some trains. Wait, pose. What the hell was that? Ah. There we go. Can you hold that? Yeah. Grab the camera. A little headroom for feasible. Put on me. Oh, they're still sturdy. 
He's mad. Squeaky. No way. It gets to a point where it doesn't turn. So I'm turning something. Obviously I'm turning the steering wheel, but it's something on the on the actual train that I'm turning. The traffic controller. Hi traffic controller. Fuck. Oh, oh, there we go. This is the hopper. Turning something. Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yes. Have you heard that the people that live in Thelmere, um, like they can't actually be buried in that cemetery? What? Because they're alive. I hope you, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you like Bryce. He's pretty cool. I've wanted him to be in the videos for like over a year since I sort of started making them. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch ya. Say bye, Bryce. Catch ya. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Catch you later. Good day. You can stop watching now. Huh? So they can stop watching now if they want. <laughs>